You're welcome to Educational World. In today's video lesson, we'll be looking at the areas of concentration in preparation for WIAC physics exams. You know, physics is divided into different sections. One, we have the theory and the practical. And one thing to know is that passing physics practical is already 50% pass. Making an A in WIAC physics is really easy if you will do the following. Number one, ensure that you prepare well for your practical by following up on my updates on this channel. And secondly, you have to ensure that you can be able to answer at least one question, be it in explanation or in calculation on the following areas. Now we have forces and motion. Now the questions that come under forces and motion are, when we talk about linear motion, we have things like distance or displacement, speed or velocity, acceleration, equations of linear motion. So you should be able to answer questions in these areas. Then we have circular motion. Under circular motion, these are the things you have to look out for. Angular momentum, angular speed, centripetal of acceleration, centripetal force. Now these are the areas, some of the areas you can look into under circular motion. And we have the simple harmonic motion. So you should be able to answer one or two questions. Be definition of simple harmonic motion. We have projectiles. You should be able to solve problems under projectiles. Then we have another important area, the equilibrium of forces. Under equilibrium of forces, we'll be looking into moments and beam balance, coplanar forces, and uh, that's that. So we have elasticity. Under elasticity, we look at Hooke's law. Energy stored in an elastic material. Then we talk about friction. Under friction, we have static and dynamic friction, coefficient of friction, and ways of reducing friction. So these are the areas under forces and motion. So we have mechanical energy, gas laws, and thermal physics. Under mechanical energy, gas laws, and thermal physics, we'll be looking into the following areas. We have the simple machines. Simple machines, we have lever and ease at classes. We have mechanical advantage. We have the velocity ratio. And we have the efficiency of machines. So you need to be able to solve problems or calculations on these areas. And in thermal physics, we have heat transfer as conduction, convection, and radiation. We have temperature conversions, conversion from one temperature scale to another. We have heat capacity. We have linear area and cubic expansivity. And lastly, the kinetic molecular theory of matter. Then we'll be looking at also the gas laws. Under the gas laws, we have the Boyle's law, Charles law, the pressure law, and general gas equation. So we have the wave phenomena and which includes all types of waves, light and sound. Okay, so under the waves we have the properties of waves which includes interference, diffraction, polarization, reflection, refraction, echo and resonance. So we have light waves. So you can be able to look at even sound waves. You should be able to answer questions on these refraction, lenses, and curve mirrors and you have images formed by a plane mirror so you should be able to deal with problems that might come out in any of these areas okay which is under wave phenomena waves which includes light and sound then after that another section in wire physics that comes up every time is what electricity and magnetism 
under electricity we have electromagnetism and under electromagnetism we look at lens law electromagnetic induction transformers so we look at these areas we have the ac generator electric motor ac circuit so we should be able to look at these areas and answer questions on them we have electrical power that's electrical circuit resistivity and conductivity of a wire so these are the areas we have static electricity or charges at rest then we have magnetic flux so you can be able to answer any of these questions here you are good to go okay and the next area we look at is atomic and nuclear physics on the atomic and nuclear physics we'll be looking into areas like nuclear fission and nuclear fusion half-life of a radioactive element radioactivity photoelectric effect threshold frequency work function of a metal and uh, so much more so if you can be able to attack any question in these subsections you'll be able to make an a in your wire physics attached with this video is a set of revision questions in the in all these areas i have mentioned so far so i would like you to click and download those revision questions and revise with them then we'll be looking forward to solutions to those revision questions so keep hooked on on this channel and tell others thank you and god bless you